Hello, my name is Dr. David Sibbles, and I practice in Greensboro with my wife here in our dental practice. Today I will be talking about oral cancer and the oral cancer exam. A little background on oral cancer. Head and neck cancers account for 6% of all cancers. Tobacco and alcohol are the leading cause of causing oral cancer. And the majority of oral cancers are not found until they're in stage 3. What makes oral cancer so particularly bad is its proximity to the brain and to the rest of your body here via the lymphatic channels in the neck. The oral cancer exam, the actual physical exam on the patient, is only one component of the oral cancer exam. A thorough review of the medical history and the patient's risk assessment must be performed in adjunct. The clinical portion of the oral cancer exam is only one component. This is to be combined with a thorough medical history combined with a risk assessment of the patient's lifestyle. Okay, let's take a look in the mouth. We have our wonderful patient here, and the first thing we're going to do is take a look extra orally. Neck, head, jaw, and what we do is we look for symmetry and we palpate for tenderness. In this, we are looking for any lumps, nodes, nodules, even lymph nodes that may be swollen. Now using cotton gauze in a nice light, we have the patient stick out their tongue and we look in the most suspicious areas. Floor of the mouth, sides of the tongue, sides of the mouth. This is both a visual and a tactile exam. With this exam, if we find anything suspicious, it's important if we find it suspicious for oral cancer that we go ahead and we refer the patient. At the referral, the patient will be at a surgical pathologist or oral surgeon who will remove the suspicious lesion and obtain a biopsy. This will give us the gold standard for diagnosis. If the lesion is there, but it's not suspicious for oral cancer, we will have the patient follow up in two weeks. This will either give the lesion an opportunity to heal, or if it gets worse or stays the same, we follow the channels I discussed previously. Lastly, at home, it is very important to teach all patients self-exam. In self-exam, they use a light and the best ability they can at home to retract the tongue and check the mouth. Should they find anything, just like a suspicious mole on the skin, the patient should then follow up with their physician or their dentist. For any further questions, please visit our website at www.drsibbles.com.